That's what I'm talking about. The following is brought to you by Real Tree Edge. Hunt with an edge. Real Tree Edge. Holy smokes, we barely got up here. And we got deer moving. We was crawling up in the stand, literally had to put those Seminole crawl. Seminole crawl just getting up here. Look, deer right here. out of dough. Really windy. We just got in a stand and I want a little backstrap. Montana's got the best backstrap in the business, man. Dunk right here comes some, here comes some deer. It looks like a buck, small bucks. Small bucks. Pretty nice eight pointer there though. Pretty nice eight. They're coming on the chain. Look at it. Pretty nice. Yeah. They might go right up under the tree. I don't need them to do that. There's our, that's our 10, that's the big 10 right there. Okay. Old 50 yarder, but he ain't taking that far. You, I can't believe that. I've <sighs> <coughs> been out by the flu, had no calls in my mouth. He come by as we had him at five steps and he circled around. He tried to stop him right here, squeezed up the cameraman, couldn't get on him. He got behind this cottonwood bush and he stopped out there about 50 yards. We took our time, ranged him, 
and put the meat missile G5 Tekken on his butt. Did you see that, brother? Did you like it? Awesome, man, awesome. Is this not, is this not Paradise City where you take me down to the Milk River City? 48 yards on the nose. I just put my 50 yard pin right on the top of his heart and dang, I don't think it didn't hit him just right there. Unbelievable, we got a doe down and now we got us a good buck down. Unbelievable, beautiful, beautiful footage. Just beautiful. I love bow hunting. It's one of my favorite places, if not my favorite place in the world to hunt. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Get down and go get him. Look at all this. This is where he went in the woods. Look back here, here's the alfalfa. This is about 50, 60 yards he's run, and this is where he went in the woods. White belly. White belly. I didn't shoot a doe that ran over here. I shot a good buck. And there he is. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Man, he is all twisted up. Man, he fell running so hard. <clears throat> Look at this, he's all tangled up. He, holy cow, he broke, he broke some of his tine off. And he fell so hard. Oh, he twisted. He's all tangled. Get off me, man. God, son. Look at that. That's what I'm talking about. How about that? Is he gorgeous or what? We didn't ever make it to practice. They called practice. So we made a beeline up here. We're getting into this blind really late. Uh, right at 7 o'clock. We only have about an hour. But this deer's been coming in around 7.30, hasn't he? 7.45. What is he? A seven-pointer. Huh? Seven-pointer. I know, the big seven. Yeah. And he's got one on his horns. Is he still in velvet? Yep. Let's get the big seven. Good shot, Coke. Good shot. Oh my God. Listen. Good shot. Good shot. That's the big seven. We just went off the field, you see? Good shot, buddy. That, that is the big seven. That thing is huge. He was big. Hey, you see inside of his body? Oh my God, bud. I think you, I think you nailed him. I think it was a perfect shot. Been looking for this deer and he didn't go that far, just went some okay. thick stuff, didn't he? It was so thick in here we couldn't see. So. I, we had to round up the troops, didn't we? Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh, Colton. Colton, 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 Colton. And what a shot. 
Colton, that deer is that, go around the side. That deer is absolutely huge. Oh, let me go here by you. Here, move down just a little bit and I'll, I'll pick up his head. And what a shot. Oh my goodness, now he's in velvet. This Be is, careful with him. I have only got one velvet deer in my whole life. Colton, that is a stud. Hold that up. That is an absolute stud right there. All right, you tell me what you're thinking. Did you get nervous? Yeah. Like, were you real nervous <laughs> out down there? But it doesn't look like it. You made a good shot on him. You did. But the rack, look at the tine length and the mass of that sucker has. Isn't that velvet? Feel that velvet, Colton. Isn't that cool? You know, we were just with uh, Roger and Philip and Brendan and everybody, <laughs> and Daniel, everybody that came out. I think the one of them said, I'm gonna tell you, it looks like a Kansas deer. Yeah. Midwest deer. Yeah, this is like a Midwest deer. What are you thinking? Congratulations. Thank you. Hey. Are you excited? Hey, I'm gonna hold are his we head. Getting this one mounted, you think? Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. All right, I need I need a I need a favor. I need one you do one thing. Can you hug your guide? Huh? That's sweet. That is awesome. Hug your big brother. Congrats, buddy. That's cool. Coach, that's a stud, buddy. It's the last night of our Kentucky bow hunt. The weather now has turned great. We have a storm that's moving out now. The rain stopped, the temperature just dropped 10 degrees. We hunted this stand on the first evening. We had a couple young bucks come in, a few does, but the wind turned on us and we never had a mature shear to buck come in. So we're hopeful tonight with this wind change that we're finally gonna get into those big white tails. up on the hill. That's a big G5 buck. I can't believe it. There he is, jump the fence. The buck's heading out to the soybean field. I mean, he's still 200 yards away. Buck right there. He's following that fence line. You can see that other buck now. Here he comes. He's running, he's running. Come on, come on. the G5 buck. Can you believe it? All the way across that field, we saw him pop out. Just an absolute giant. We thought he was living in this woodlot. Never thought he was going to come across that soybean field. Fortunately, another buck came out, and I think what happened was he kind of felt challenged, or maybe felt secure, but he came over, 22-yard shot. We hammered him. 
not it doesn't get any better than that that has got to be one of the best deer I've taken with a bow I am so pumped up but, but there's a buck right there <laughs> look at the length of those tines unbelievable <laughs> is that a phenomenal white tail or what god sky high tines the big brow tines are what i noticed when he's all the way across the field full velvet absolute incredible experience look at the size of that deer this is kentucky hunting early bow season at his best well we're back after the big eight and hoping that he comes out we've cut the distance in half from where we sat on him last time and i'm hoping that that gives us just enough that he makes it to us in daylight so we've cut the distance done a hanging hunt specifically for this hunt for this deer Well, I really don't know what to say. Uh, shot this deer this afternoon. Biggest eight pointer of my life. To be able to take my biggest buck ever, you know, right here on the family farm is something I'll always be grateful for. You get a little bit emotional about it. Aside from that, I, I just don't know what to say about this deer because he just truly is a buck of a lifetime for me. Could not be more, more thankful. This is awesome. This is a brand new piece of property, Jeff and them guys. And look how close we are to the Devil's Tower. That's amazing. Should be able to see a lot of deer coming across from across the river. It's starting to sprinkle a little bit, but it's not supposed to be. They're not calling for rain, so it won't last long, but perfect wind. Deer, Gordon and Connor and Jeff are getting up across the river, walking out, crossing the river right here, and coming through this open gate and going out to the alfalfa and the millet. Perfect path of least resistance right here, coming through this open gate. 
this is super exciting. Perfect win. Perfect win. bunch of bugs. They're coming, aren't they? I can hear deer sneezing coming down the road too, so be careful.
Look at this pig. Look at that pig. Is that not a giant whitetail from Wyoming? Unbelievable buck. I mean, I knew he was big, but look at this. He's got so much character, incredible mass. Look at these brow tines. That's unbelievable. He's a mainframe 10, he's got a kicker off this two. He's got knots all up and down his bases and back of his brows. That's crazy, but that is an unbelievable buck anywhere in the country. But this is Wyoming 7J Outfitters. This is the best buck I've taken out here with Jeff Smith and the guys. Incredible, incredible hunt. First afternoon, and it happened fast. 45-yard shot, hit, hit him a little back. He took a step right before the arrow got there. You saw it, played it safe, gave him some time, but he's been dead for a while. That Spitfire Max ate him up, but wow. Thank you, Lord above. What a blessing.